This is chapter 10, part D. And next we're going to edit that pattern brush that we just created. We're going to edit the border brush by adding a pattern swatch that we're going to create. Now, make sure that you open up your swatches panel. If it's not open, just click to, to open it. Uh, next, we're going to go to View, and we're going to go to Pattern Objects again, because this time we want to pick up the Life Preserver. Just select it and drag it into the Swatches panel. So just click and drag, and it's going to pop up here into the Swatches panel. After you create a pattern brush, you can delete the pattern swatch from the swatches panel if you don't want it there for any additional artwork. So now you can deselect again. In the swatches panel, double click the pattern swatch you just created. When the pattern options dialog box opens, name the swatch corner down at the bottom, you're going to select one by one. Click Done in the gray bar to finish the editing. There. Click View, Fit Artboard in Window. In the Brushes panel, double click the Border Pattern Brush to open the Pattern Brush Options dialog box. Click the Outer Corner Tile box and choose the corner pattern that you just made. You're going to have to scroll down to get it change the scale to 70 percent and then click OK. In the dialog box click Apply to Strokes to update the border to, on the artboard. With the Selection tool selected, click to select one of the paths that it shows the, that's out the row of windows. You don't really have to do this because you're going to undo it right away. This is just to show you that if you click the border panel or the border brush, it's going to only apply the rope because there's no corners on that line. The path is just filled with the side tiles because there isn't any corners. And so I'm going to go to edit and undo so that's why you don't have to do it. Just watch me. Now go to File and Save. Next we're going to work with the Blob Brush tool. You can use the Blob Brush tool to paint filled shapes that intersect and merge with other shapes of the same color. With the Blob Brush tool you can draw with Paintbrush Tool Artistry. Unlike the paintbrush tool, which lets you create open paths, the blob brush tool lets you create a closed shape with a fill, no stroke, fill only. You can then easily edit that with the eraser or the blob brush tool. Shapes that have a stroke cannot be edited using the blob brush tool. Now we're going to use the blob brush to create part of a cloud. Click the Layers panel icon on the right side of the workspace and click the eye icon to the left of the ship layer to hide it. Click the background layer to select it. Change the fill color to the swatch named light blue. Make sure nothing is selected. and make sure your stroke gets changed to none. When drawing with the blob brush tool, if a fill and stroke are set before drawing, the stroke becomes the fill of the shape made by the blob brush tool. If only a fill is set before drawing, it becomes the fill of the shape created. Click and hold down on the paint brush tool, which is going to give you the blob brush tool underneath. Double click on the blob brush tool to bring up the dialog box with the options and select the keep selected options and change the size to 
70 points and click OK. Now, position the pointer to the left of the little blue cloud in the sky. I think we probably need to hide the spray and tree as well. Drag to create a cloud shape. We don't want to touch this other little cloud that's on the right. So you can actually start here and you can just kind of work your way around. And there it is. When you draw with the blob brush tool, you create filled closed shapes. Those shapes can contain any kind of a fill. Gradients, solid colors, patterns. Notice that the blob brush pointer has a circle around it before you begin to paint. That circle shows the size of the brush. We set that at 70 points. In addition to drawing new shapes with the blob brush tool, you can use it to intersect and merge shapes of the same color. Objects that are merged with the blob brush tool need to have the same appearance attributes. They can't have a stroke. They have to be on the same layer or in the same group. And they need to be adjacent to each other in the stacking order. So now we're going to merge the cloud we just created with the little cloud on the right of it so that it's going to be one big cloud. So we want to first of all go to select and deselect. With the blob brush tool you're going to drag from inside the cloud shape we just created over to join it to the little cloud that's on the right. So somewhere in here just click and drag to select to that one. If, if you find the shapes aren't merging it might be because they have a, a different fill or one you accidentally left a stroke on. You can select both the clouds you created and the small cloud and make sure that the fill color is light blue and that there's no stroke. And then you should be able to select the blob brush tool and drag it from one to the other again. Now keep drawing with that to make those look more like one unit. So you can smooth out what you did or you can rough up an edge whichever way you'd rather work with it. If you find the new shapes are being made that are, are being made, instead of the existing cloud shape being edited, undo and then reselect and de then deselect the cloud shape and then you should be able to continue. So once you've gotten the shape that you want, go and to select and deselect and save your file. As you draw and merge shapes with the blob tool, you may draw too much and you may want to edit what you've done. You can use the eraser tool in a combination with the blob brush tool to mold the shape and correct any changes that you don't like. So now go up into the selection tool and select the cloud. And by selecting that, we can limit the eraser to simply erasing from that shape. Double click the eraser tool and in the option panel change the size up to 40 points. Ooh, there we go. Somewhere around 40. And click OK. Position the pointer over the edge of the cloud shape and drag along the bottom to, re to reshape it a little bit. Try switching between the blob brush tool and the eraser tool to edit your clouds more.
Both the blob brush and the eraser tool have pointers that include a circle and they indicate the diameter of the brush. When you're done, deselect. Click the Layers panel to expand the Layers panel if you need to, and click the Visibility columns to the left of all the sublayers to make sure that they're all showing. Click to select the main layer called Mask, and now go down and click the Make Release Clipping Mask button. By clicking that, we are taking an existing rectangle shape that was the mask, and we're using it to mask all the content. To learn more about masking, go up to Lesson 14 for using Illustrator with other Adobe applications. Now, you can collapse everything and go to Object and Show All, and that's going to show some poster text that was hidden. Go to save. Go to select and deselect. And go to file and save as. And remember, you're going to save this as a PDF. And in the dialog box, remember, it's going to be a press quality PDF file and save PDF. If you drew a lot of strokes up in this top section, you may need to uh, you may need to rasterize all of that. So I will very quickly show you how that works. If you need to select everything that we did up in there, and we can go into the isolation mode and select that group. Let's go to Object. We want to oh, expand. If we go to Expand, very often that may work. And then you should be able to save your, your PDF file rather than rasterizing. Rasterizing, we want it to expand rather than rasterize, and then turn in your PDF.